Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and once again I just wanted to uh, talk about and give you a little pointers on Windows updates. It's sad because one of the major problems of Windows is how often we hear about an update gone wrong. Now let's just put things straight for a second because a lot of people say oh well that's where I go on that's why I go on Linux or I go on Mac. I'm sorry it happens on every platform and uh, you know Mac OS has the same problem of updates going wrong quite regularly also for some reason that we don't talk about but of course we talk about Windows and rant about Windows all the time it is the biggest operating system on PCs of course now I also of course do agree that there are things that should not be done and you know the latest update shows that okay so you don't test them enough and people get problems it shouldn't happen there's a way to have these updates going on well and going on with the minimum amount of problems unfortunately Microsoft I don't know sometimes uh, some of the people working there are not taking good decisions anyways this video not just a ranting video I'll show you a few things you can do when Windows updates go wrong so first of all one of the things that you need to know if you install an update and that you actually have a problem with your PC not behaving well or not starting well one of the things you need to know is that at startup if you can't boot up if you force your PC to shut down while it's booting into Windows 10 by pressing the power button and holding it after a couple of times it will go into recovery mode in there you can use different uh, things you can use the system restore that will actually bring you back in time so there's a few options that you can actually look at there and if you do that a few times it will understand something's wrong and will go back into rolling back to a previous version that means if you have an update and it doesn't work well and you do that three or four times at some point you'll see the screen is going to say okay recovery mode we're rolling back to and removing that update that's one thing that happens if you have zero control over your PC but if you boot up but it doesn't work well the um, other thing that you can do is of course uninstall the update and that you go through the settings in your PC in Windows 10 and you go into update and security in there you have the advanced um, yeah you have the uh, sorry uh, update history when you go here you have uninstalled updates you can actually un uninstall updates updates come into several forms there's uh, quality updates there's security updates they are different quality updates tend to be in a, a section where you can actually it's optional and you can click on it if you want or just keep it there and forget it in the uh, optional update section you know if your PC goes well I always say the same thing and anything that is a simply a update for quality in the optional download and updates if you are having a great experience with your Windows 10 operating system just don't install it okay just ignore it and and leave it there you don't need to install every update you see of course the other ones that are pushed to your security updates and those you have to uh, actually um, you know install they are forced on you but again there's some ways that you can actually defer updates and that is something you need to know when you go to your settings into uh, Windows update you can go to advanced options so for first of all there's the first option if you want to just take a pause for a week you can click pause updates for seven days you click here now no updates going to be installed for the next seven days and here it says on my and we're September, September 2nd it says here updates will resume on September 9th of course you can resume updates at any time by clicking the resume update button that gives you a week what you could do is if there's an update and you're not sure you could defer or pause for a week and look at the blog post and see if people or look at the videos here and see if people are having problems if everything seems well you can actually roll up the outdate or let it do it seven days and you know it's going to install after seven days the other option that you have and that has been added 
recently is in the advanced option in every version of Windows now you have pause updates and you can select a date you can actually defer up to 35 uh, days which means that this you know if I would not want any updates this month I could say just resume updates on Monday October 7th so every update that will be released this month will not be installed until Monday October 7th now I usually don't recommend doing this for security updates because security updates are important and should be installed but I also understand the fear of installing updates I also understand some people are getting a little fed up with the way that Microsoft is pushing the updates I gotta say um, they could do a better job you know there will never be it doesn't exist a 100% sure update but you can minimize the problems by testing it a little longer maybe and that's the problem of the last update the test was not done long enough so um, these are a few little pointers that I can give you about Windows updates and uh, hopefully everything is all right if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching